Hey, it's Lacey, and welcome back to Satoshi Gaming. This is my best Pinot Noir wine build in Townstar. Before we get started, I want to mention that this build was created prior to the recent core changes of the game, so you may need to rework a few things, but most things should work just fine if you want to recreate this build. Secondly, if you want to see how this build evolved from start to finish, I'll post a link in the description below for my Relax and Play Townstar series, Desert to Wine. If you're doing a wine build, you could use the same design for any of the three grape types. My town on the server was located on a desert tile adjacent to one mountain tile, which is necessary for a wine build. It was a decent trip from the city Mogadishu, but with the Express Depot NFT, it was still one gas and about a minute per delivery, and a minute 22 with the Trade Depot. Not the best location, but it worked. With all my builds, you'll notice it's pretty organized. I focused all my industry on the east and crops on the southeast so they were out of the mountain shade. If I were to do it again, I'd probably move my trade depots down at the south end because delivery would be slightly faster, but I didn't have a spot down there I really wanted to put them, so I sacrificed the time. Moving down to the crops, I have only four oak tree farms running the entire build and honestly could get away with less. In the early days of this build, you likely need more oak tree farms now with the recent core changes, but you can probably get rid of them after you've completed your buildings. Then I also have a hefty amount of tree farms lining the eastern edge, as you'll be using a lot of wood with grapes and the mines. Lumber is a crucial component in this build. Finding that balance is key here with the wine build trying to figure out how many lumberjacks or loggers you need with wood in order to keep your lumber mills running smoothly. Since my ponds line the map, my workers will walk over them which is really convenient instead of around which allow my tree farms the water they need without sacrificing time for workers to get back and forth. My farmers have easy access to all the grapes via roads and I've used a standard 3x3 grid for my Pinot Noir grape crops with a single pond servicing all the surrounding tiles. Toward the northern end, you'll see I placed all my farm tractors, I only needed five, and my four silos for storage. None of these are affected by the shade, which is why I put them all up here, out of the way. I keep my storage emptied pretty regularly, so I didn't need much more. With auto sell now available to everyone, it should be even easier allowing you to have only two silos if you wanted. I also placed all my trade depots in the shadow of the mountain to maximize space on the map. Moving to the southwest, I have all my logger houses and lumber storage. With this build, I found I needed a lot of both of these, and I actually have more logger houses sprinkled up the side of the map. In the industrial area, my industrial water needs are mostly automated with the water pump layout I've created. You'll notice there is only one winery. That was all I could build in the time allowed, but I would recommend building three to six of them for a proper build. Probably right where my icon is blinking to maximize profits and speed. You'll want to make sure your winery is close to a storehouse for quick drop-offs. It also has easy access to the silos via the paved road on the north. My lumber mills are in close proximity to the lumber storages to speed their times and their water and energy needs are also automated. My glass factory is on the north end near the mines and warehouse is storing the goods they need for making glass bottles. I also have some power plants up to the north which are actually automating my mines across the street to reduce the need for my miners to walk back and forth across the map to the warehouse. My mines are all in a row, obviously they need to be connected to the mountain, and have easy access down the road to the supplies they need. They are the only buildings in this build that do not have industrial water automated, but the power is automated, so they're fairly efficient. If I had more time, I would have moved the warehouses that are near the water currently up to those spaces and added more wineries where the warehouses are currently located. So if you're wanting to recreate this, you may consider doing that. I hope you enjoyed this build. I'll post the links in the description below to my other Townstar builds if you're interested in checking them out. If you'd like access to exclusive content and special perks, please consider becoming a member by clicking the join button below for as little as $1. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Also hit that bell to turn notifications on so you don't miss any of my latest videos. You can also find me on Twitter at SatoshiGamingTV. Hope to see you next time. Bye.